Hello there, I'm Dave Allen, I'm Guggen Geek here, and today we're going to have a look at the second part of the process for connecting up the Mac and the iPad with LogSeq and getting our data moved from one place to another so we can use it everywhere. So on the last one what we did was we set up GitHub and a repository there and we set up Git on the Mac and basically had it all working automatically so anytime we made some changes in the application LogSeq it just got sent up there to get up into the repository and we had our web versioning and we had some sort of backup with it as well so everything just working perfectly now the next part of it is to go into the ios devices and using the application working copy we're going to bring things from github into the ipad and then we're going to send it off into the logseq folder and logseq will automatically update and then when we put stuff into the LogSeq application, it's going to automatically work with that so that as soon as we close the application, it's going to send the data back into GitHub. So then we can go back onto a Mac and have the data there as well. So it's all going to be working just the way we want it to be working. OK, so here we are in working copy. And what we're going to do now is we've got to bring the files from GitHub into this iPad. And I'm looking at one that I've done already. This is Spondy Logsec, which is my main one that I use. But let's bring that new one in there called Luggy. So let's come out of this one here. And I'm going to click on the plus at the top there. And we're going to do a clone repository. And we want to get it from GitHub. So the Luggy is in there in the list. So let's get that one there. And we're going to just click on clone without changing any other of the details. And I've got it set so it comes in as SSH. OK, so let's go. Click on clone and it's connecting. And it's bringing in that repository. So you can see everything's in there. Everything's looking good. Now what I need to do is I need to connect this up to a folder. So now what I want to do is I want to press and hold on this one here. And I'm going to go to share. And in share, what we're looking for here is link repository to folder. So click on that one there. So the best place to put this is going to be somewhere in LogSeq and we don't want to do it on iCloud Drive. We want to do it somewhere within the iPad. So this is iCloud Drive. Let's have a look on iPad. So what we're going to do is look in through the uh, iPad now and we're going to go to LogSeq. And there we go, LogSeq, there it is. And I've got the Spondicious LogSeq in there. I've got other stuff in there. What I really need to do is I need to set up a new folder to work with this particular a uh, new graph. So let's press on that one there. And we're going to call this uh, Loggy. Which is what I called it on GitHub. So click on Done. And then click on Done again. And that's going to send that off into the iPad folder called Loggy. If I go into Files, so let's go through this one here. Files and on my iPad and go to LogSeq. And I've see, as you see, I've got one there called Loggy. And it's got all the stuff in there. It's just brought that in there from GitHub. So everything's looking good on this end here. So if I go into Pages, for instance, we can just check on that there. I've got two items in there. That's a couple of dates where I've put some stuff in there. So everything's looking pretty cool so far. Next thing to do is to go into LogSeq. So using the menu at the top here, we're going to go to Add Graph. Go to the folder that we're looking for, Loggy. And we're going to bring that into LogSeq. Let's go. And it's pulled all that in there. So here is stuff that I've been working on on my Mac and it's now available for me to use on my iPad. How is that? Simple or what? Now the next thing to do is to set it up so this will automatically send stuff back into Working Copy and Working Copy will send it back into GitHub. It's not too difficult. Let's get started. We need to set up a shortcut or an automation within shortcuts. In shortcuts and we've got to go to automations now please make note that you're gonna to have to do automations on all your devices whatever well, you've got in this this here doesn't copy through onto your account on your iPhone because it's down to the device and not down to the iCloud account as you can see I've already created some automations for LogSeq one for when the app opens and one for the apps close let's have a look inside them and see what we've got in there so looking at the LogSeq automation for when the application is opened. As you see, I've got the tick mark in there. And what it's going to do is going to pull the repository. And this is all you have to put in there. Choose the repository that you want to bring in. 
and in this case we're going to choose loggy you don't have to change anything else here just leave it as default and I'm going to click on done I don't need it to ask me before running and I don't want it to show anything else it's just going to do it in the background and then this other one here when logstick is closed let's go into this one here and you've got some things to set up here so choose it for when logstick is closed so you've got the tick mark in there closed there and what, it want, what we wanted to do in this case here is to stage the file so in this one here what you've got to do is you've got to put the star into the bit where it says stage you've got to choose the uh, folder so in this case I'm going for loggy and if this one here we're going for loggy and this one here we're going for loggy as well and if you click on these down arrows so what to commit is staged and fail when nothing to commit is okay and then we've got the next one here and the remote is default so now this is going to work with this loggy so here we are in logsig and I'm going to create a new page okay so this new page is going to be called new page okay so let's come off that one there new page actually the new page called Santa I don't know why you come up with that but still so we can put stuff into this one here hello world so it's working through working copy okay so that's good next thing we want to do is we want to send this back to github so really what should happen now is as soon as I close this it's going to run that automation so I've just got to close that there and the automation will run in the background and I should be able to go into the uh, github and have that and see that it's been sent so let's go into working copy because that's connected to github and we're going to go to this one here you can do this manually if you want to so if I do a long hot press on this one here I can do it and I can tell it to do a push to so that will push you up to github okay but it should already have worked I'm going to go to the Mac now and have a look and see how that looks and see if it's come through so here we are back on logseek again in the Mac and what happened here is is that I've opened up the account logseek and within a couple of seconds the stuff that I put into the page for the 27th of May uh, arrived here so this new page uh, linked to the new page is here and I can click on that there and you can see the hello world is in there and as you can see it just says working with logseek and github through working copy so everything is working out as it should so I added a link and a page on the Mac and came back into the iPad and within a couple of seconds it arrived on the iPad here ready for me to be able to read and do whatever I want with and the synchronization is working absolutely perfectly how magnificent is that then so we've had some good geeky fun using shortcuts on the iOS devices to connect it up to the github and to bring things into our logsig on those devices so hope it all goes well for you as well enjoy bye bye now